Years and years and years ago, I was working in a studio that had a Neve console, and it had pretty much all the outboard gear you could ever possibly want. And it was early, early days of Pro Tools, and I was fortunate enough to be in a studio that even had Pro Tools, because most places didn't. So I jumped in right away. And I remember in those early years, people were laughing at me. They were, they were literally laughing at me. A lot of people thought I was crazy for not mixing on this new console and mixing internally in Pro Tools. But I saw right away where all of this was going. I saw that Pro Tools was going to be the future. And I also understood that a lot of the musicians that I wanted to work with, these more independent musicians, weren't going to be able to afford to mix on the new console. So I started summing in the box super early. And fast forward a few years later, I met this artist, Tycho. And it was one of those projects that I just took on because I loved the music. Tycho's a super DIY guy, so working with him is kind of like a project that's tailor-made for me and my style of mixing. On the last two Tycho albums, we mixed everything totally in the box. And on this album, we really wanted to take things that next level. We really wanted to make like a no compromise kind of album. Tycho's music is really challenging to mix. It's got a lot of layers and a lot of density and harmonics and distortion and effects. And it's just super challenging to mix. It's one of the most difficult things I've ever worked on. And that's really saying a lot. So I thought one of the things that might benefit us would be to mix through a summing unit. And so I did a little research and I saw the Dangerous 2 Bus Plus. And we were super excited about this because it not only gives you the option of summing clean, but you also have these three different colors that you can sort of impart some flavor into your mix with. And you have a lot of precise control over them, which sounded really great to us. So we tried one. Now, a lot of people feel like you can get great mixes internally in the box, and they're totally right. And I was one of those people. With Tycho's records, we were getting great mixes, but it was a struggle. Both of us were at the point where we really wanted to do everything possible to get these mixes where we really wanted them to be. So we added the Dangerous 2 Bus Plus, and one of the things we noticed right away was this enhanced stereo width. One of the other things that was really interesting was that it had this sort of three-dimensionality to it, whereas the internal mixes felt like everything was just a little bit on the same plane. The different controls for the added color were really interesting. That was one of the things we sort of agonized over when we were looking into these summing units. At first we thought we would want something that imparted a lot of color, but then we realized Tycho's music has so many layers of harmonics and dis effects and it, it really didn't, we didn't need something that was imparting a heavy-handed flavor. The transformer control we found really useful because it allowed us to get a little bit of saturation and some roundness out of the low end that we might have struggled with if we had tried to do that in the box. The ability of the 2 Bus Plus to really be able to dial in just the right amount of that added color was really kind of a deal breaker for us. Overall, we just found that we were able to get better punch, better stereo imagery, and just a better sense of three-dimensionality to the mixes when we were using the 2 Bus Plus. As we headed down this path of making a no-compromise album, you know, we had this summing unit, which we were really happy with, but we thought about what else could we add to get our mixes just to that next level. And so I thought, well, let's try some converters. I have to admit that I'm a little bit of a skeptic when it comes to converters. Not that I don't hear the difference, but it's never been one of those things that I thought I really needed. I mean, after all, I have a really nice interface, and I just never thought it was super necessary. So we added the Convert 8s into the equation, and right away I could hear a couple of things that were really great. First of all, I could hear the transients sort of almost jump out of the speakers, and it just provided this extra bit of punch that I was looking for. 
So the other thing that I heard right away was this clarity in the high frequencies that I definitely wasn't getting out of my old converters. And uh, just overall, the combination between hearing that increased depth from the transients and, and the high frequency detail really helped us get the mixes where we wanted them to be. So really the combination of the two bus plus and the convert eights was really kind of just the thing we were looking for for this album.